Welcome to IFS Insider Videos. My name is Björn Hultgren and I work as a program manager for manufacturing at IFS R&D. In some manufacturing industries the pace is high, the entire production process from raw materials to finished goods can happen in a matter of one or a few days. IFS intraday planning concept allows parts manufactured in multiple bomb levels and shipment to be planned down to minute level all on the same day if required. By using a delivery route, this customer order line has been planned with a due date time of 5 p.m. September 8. This represents the time when the parts needs to be ready in stock from production to be shipped at 7 p.m. the same day. Releasing this customer order creates a direct peg shop order. The shop order has been planned with the same need date as the due date of the customer order line and the shop order has been scheduled to finish just in time for the customer order line delivery on the same day. To manufacture this garden salad we need chopped carrots, lettuce, cabbage and a salad container. The time on the required date is at the same as the start date of the operation which to it is connected minus its queue time. MRP has generated a shop order acquisition to manufacture the chopped lettuce. Since the part has been set up to be manufactured the same day as it is demanded and its lead time is less than a day, the start date has been set the same as the due date. The shop order created from this requisition is planned with a need date time 10 p.m. the 8th, which corresponds to the last working time this day. To balance the short-term demand and supply in terms of quantities and times for a part, the inventory parts intraday availability page can be used. I have configured the page to show only firm supplies and demands up until today plus one day. The demand balance field quickly gives an indication whether the total supply and demand quantities are in balance for this period. For the shopped letters, it looks like we are producing a little bit more than what we have demand for. The projected negative quantity badge indicates whether the projected stock balance goes negative at any time within this period, which seems to be the case for a shopped lettuce. To analyze the supply and demand details of a part, the row can be expanded. And here we can see that the shopped lettuce is needed at 3 or 4 p.m. on the shop order that produces the garden salad, while the shop order to produce the shopped lettuce is expected to be received 10 p.m. on the same day, and this creates a negative projected quantity. To adjust the scheduling of this shop order to finish no later than 3 or 4 p.m., I can either manually edit the shop order from here or use the adjust needed to demand option. This automatically updates the need date to the date and time when the projected quantity goes negative. I can also adjust the lot size of a shop order so it exactly covers all demands until the next supply using the adjust lot size to demand. In this case, the shop order lot size was changed from 150 to 144. The delivery route can also be used to plan the time when a purchase order line is expected to have been received and available in stock for manufacturing to use. So if I check the details of the iceberg letters, we can see that the purchase order line is expected to be available in stock at 6 a.m., which looks fine since it is not needed on the shop letters shop order until 2.47 p.m. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to our IFS YouTube channel.